mwaje kama ilivyo ada tumeingia sasa katika sehemu yetu ya ukumbi na nilikuahidi kwamba tutakuwa na wageni wetu kuzungumzia mada ambayo ni muhimu tunadhani kwa wakati huu kuweza kuzungumzia masuala ya uiano na utangamano hapa nchini hapa studioni ni naye bwana Kawivi wa Mbua ambaye ni naibu afisa mtendaji kutoka shirika linalofahamika kama Inuka Kenya ni sisi karibu sana katika studio zetu vile vile tunaye dada yetu bi Wamboi Nyutu ambaye ni naibu mwenyekiti wa tume ya uiano na utangamano maarufu kwa kimombo NCSC karibu sana katika Shukra Tunaye pia dada yetu Juliana Olayo, afisa mkuu wa shirika la Open Talk. Karibu sana. Na vile vile bwana Hussein Khalid ambaye ni uh, mkurugenzi mkuu wa uh, shirika la Haki Afrika. Karibu sana. Nafikiri wakati mzuri kuzungumza lakini sitafanya hivyo. Nataka kwanza tusikize semi fulani ambayo ili imetolewa leo asubuhi. Hapo hapo mlipoketi nyinyi uh, mbunge Nelson uh, Koech kutoka eneo la Bilgut akizungumzia masuala ya maandamano na hisia alizonazo kuhusiana na watu kuweza kulinda mali zao. Hebu tusikize alafu nipate maoni yenu moja kwa moja. I want to repeat it in this show that this week I will come here next week and I will tell you we will have had uh, we will not have had a violent demonstration that we had last week in this Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. So will there be demonstrations on Wednesday? Whether they will be there or not you will see the countering force that you've never witnessed in this country because your right ends where mine start. You cannot always allow, people cannot go to work. Can you imagine Honorable Mutunga could not even visit a friend? Which country is this? We are having insecurity. We cannot be dealing with terrorists and bandits in the north of our country and not deal with the terrorists in the city. We must deal Honorable with the terrorists want, and the, politicians. There are a few terms I want us to define based on what you're saying. Yeah. What do you mean with countering force? The countering force is the, the police should come out. People should come out to protect their property. We will, no one should allow uh, uh, destruction in their property. Business community must come out and stand and protect their business. No, you know, Honorable Coach, uh, I'm struggling here because if you say people have to come out and protect themselves, they pay taxes so that the police protect themselves. I mean, pr protect... The police are stretched. Just hold on. So when you ask them to come out, they have not been trained to deal with such kind of situations, you, aren't you also risking their lives? I didn't say don't, I did not say confront anyone. I have mm -hmm. said business people, take care of your business. Let me ask you Sam, if today someone walks into the bank with a gun and a police officer is inside the bank who is supposed to be securing the bank, will the police officer say, can we talk you know, you know, so you know, that you don't see? I wish you, you, I wish you can deal with the real issue without other examples. That is the real issue. We, we have enough examples without yes. use, having to use the bank. Yeah. So countering, countering force. Because we are not dealing with protesters. <coughs> we are dealing with criminals. If we are dealing with peaceful protest, as in which is the constitution, that is okay. One more minute. Half. Kwanza kabisa asante sana Nimrod kwa kutualika hapa kwenye Citizen TV na pia kuwashukuru uh, watu wa Media Houses kwa sababu ripoti yenu imekuwa sensitive kwa mambo ambayo inaendelea tumeona vile ambavyo mnakava maandamano vile ambavyo mlikava zile clashes zinaendelea kule Sondu mmekuwa mkifanya kazi nzuri pili ni kuongea kuhusu uh, hili jambo linaendelea la maandamano katika nchi yetu ya Kenya Tunajua kwamba atiko 37 ya katiba inakubalisha watu kufanya maandamano, watu kupiket na watu kupresent zile petitions kwenye you know viungo vya serikali ambazo zinafaa ku deal nazo. Na tunaona ya kwamba uh, mheshimiwa Raila Odinga anaendelea kusema watu wafanye maandamano. Lakini tunaweza si hivi. Um, kama, vil, uh, kama vile katiba ime, imepatia wananchi haki ya kufanya maandamano imewanyima uh, ile kuandamana uki, ukiharibu mali ya wananchi ukiharibu uh, private property ukihali, ukiharibu public property na pia ukivuruga uh, wananchi wenzako kwa hivyo tunaomba mkiendelea na ma maandamano tafadhali ikuwe peaceful wacha tuone ile peaceful protest ambayo hatujaiona tunajua hatujaiona hii nchi yetu ya Kenya isipokuwa wakati watu wa um, um, 
kama haki Afrika ama kina Juliana hapa wakati wanaandamana kuhusu vitu fulani wao peke yao ndo wanafanya maandamano peaceful lakini ya siasa hatujaiona kwa hivyo tunasihi uh, mheshimiwa Raila Odinga tafadhali ongea na watu wako ongea na wanasiasa wenzako wafanye maandamano peaceful na pia niongee kuhusu ambacho uh, mheshimiwa Nelson Koecha amesema uh, leo asubuhi hakuna vile tunaweza uh, Uh, ponya nchi kwa kuambia wengine wakuje wapigane waji defend kwa nini kwa sababu Raila Odinga uh, wafuasi wake wakitokea na waanze kupigana na wafuasi wa mheshimiwa uh, wenye ameambiwa wajito, wajitokeze pia wao waji defend inamaanisha ya kwamba pande zote mbili ndo zitaumia hakuna mwenye atabaki na bila kuumia kwa hivyo eh, ku, ku, kuambia wananchi watoke waji defend hiyo sio suluhisho ya shida ambazo tuko nazo. Je, matamshi kama yale yanatia hofu kwa tume kama yenu NCSC? Yanatia hofu kwa sababu sasa ile ambayo tulikuwa tuna, tuna hope itakuwa peaceful, itakuwa was. Hiyo si ya kusaidia, hiyo sio suluhisho. Tunajua ya kwamba it will be worse than it has been before. Kwa hivyo naweza tu wauliza wa, wa, viongozi wote wakuwe sensitive na yale mambo ambayo wanasema kwa sababu kuambia wananchi watoke waji defend tunajua kwamba polisi wetu wa Kenya ni wengi zaidi in fact ratio yetu ni, ni kubwa kushinda ile ambayo imerecommendiwa ime na United Nations we have one policeman for i think 150 people in Kenya so kwa nini uambie innocent Kenyans waende waji defend mwenye biashara ataji defend vipi hana risasi atatumia nini kujidefend hiyo ni kazi ya, ya polisi kufanya na demonstrations zinaweza kuwa peaceful si lazima polisi waende wavurugane na wananchi ambao wana demonstrate ndo demonstrations ziishe hata wakiachiliwa sidhani kuna kitu kubwa wanaweza fanya tunakumbuka ile wakati uh, mheshimiwa Raila Odinga alikuwa anajiapisha hapa Uhuru Park na tulikuwa na hofu sana kwa sababu tulifikiria uh, kutakuwa na vurugu Kenya na wananchi watakufa lakini polisi walifanya nini polisi waliachilia Raila Odinga akajiapisha na siku ikaisha na kila mtu akaenda nyumbani na hakukuwa na mtu ambaye alipoteza maisha kwa hivyo polisi pia wanafaa kutumia wisdom ku deal na hawa watu ambao wamekasirika bi wamboi tutafika hapo kwenye e, nguvu za polisi na kadhalika lakini pengine nipate maoni kutoka kwa wengine Hussein Kali pengine moja kwa moja e, kuhusiana na matamshi kama yale kutoka kwa viongozi um, kwangu mimi nitasema kwamba ni matamshi yanayoleta huzuni sana katika nchi yetu hii si jambo ambalo unatarajia mtu anayetambulika kuwa kiongozi kusema mambo kama hayo ni jambo la aibu na ni jambo ambalo hatufai kulisikia kwa mtu ambaye anatambulika kuwa kiongozi. Uh, kwa lugha ya kimombo tunasema two wrongs don't make a right. Makosa mawili hayaleti usawa. Huwezi kusema kwa sababu mwingine anafanya kosa, wacha na mimi niambie watu wangu pia wafanye kosa kisha tutaleta usawa. Hilo haliwezi kabisa kuwa ni jambo ambalo linatu, linapelekea viongozi kutamka. Kama ilivyoelezea Madam Nyutu hapa hii ni nchi ambayo iko na sheria. Tuko na katiba, tuko na sheria, tuko na vitengo ambavyo vimewezeshwa na sheria kuweza kufuatilia mambo ya aina tofauti tofauti. Hofu kuikiwa watu wajitokeza kama alivyoagiza ama kama alivyowasihi eh, Mheshimiwa Nelson. Nafikiri ni pengine ni matamshi yaliyozungumzwa katika kikao cha uh, mrengo wa Kenya kwanza. Hofu kubwa eh, kwa nyie ambao mnatetea maslahi na haki za binadamu itakuwa ni ipi? Hofu kubwa ni, ni kwamba wa... tutapeleka nchi hii katika vita vya ndani kwa ndani. Manake ukisema hawa wanatoka wanafanya hivi na nyinyi tokeni pia mufanya hivyo that is a, uh, a recipe uh, sorry ni uh, tunaanzisha vita vyetu sisi vya ndani kwa ndani na ni muhimu vitengo kama uh, NCIC na vingineo vichukue hatua haraka iwezekanavyo um, kama ni mashirika kina haki Afrika na inuka tunafaa tutoke hivi sasa kama vile citizen mlivyopanga kipindi kuzungumzia mambo kama haya tuwaambie wananchi wasikubali matamshi kama yale na si upande mmoja tu pande zote mbili manake hapa hakuna cha kupendelea hakuna haki ya kuandamana kwa fujo 
kuna haki ya kuandamana lakini hakuna haki ya kuandamana kwa fujo e, pande zote mbili wanasema kwamba pale palipotokea pali fujo siku zilizopita kila mtu anamnyoshea mwenzake kidole hawa wanasema ni hawa waandamanaji wa upande huu na hawa wengine wanasema ni watu wamelipwa na upande wa pili kuharibu ile so, kwa hivyo hatujui ukweli uko wapi lakini la sawa ni kusema fujo ya aina yoyote ikiwa ni waandamanaji waliopanga ama ikiwa ni upinzani wa, wa maandamano wanapanga hatuwezi kukubali hatuwezi kuruhusu na sheria haichukuliwe mkononi kwa hivyo tuwaambie viongozi kama bwana Nelson hayo matamshi yakiwa yatatupelekea sisi katika vita vya ndani kwa ndani wao wanafaa kuwa wa kwanza kushikwa na kushtakiwa kwa sababu huo sio uongozi huo ni uchochezi asante sana Hussein Kali bi Juliana bwana Kaiva nitawapa muda pia na nyinyi mlipe maoni kuhusiana na hilo alafu tuzungumzie mengine mengi kuhusiana na uhusiano kwa sasa mwelekezi wangu anaambia tuende mapumziko kidogo tu tupate matangazo ya kibiashara alafu nitarejea kwa hapa nafasi mtazamaji pia unaweza kuchangia mada yetu ya leo kuhusiana na masuala ya uhusiano na utangamano uliza swali au toa maoni kuhusiana na yale ambayo yanaendelea kwa sasa hivi ambapo tunaona joto la kisiasa linazidi kupanda hapa nchini.